We're gonna keep this going, everybody. Show me your hands. Hands up if you're sitting. Stand up. And put hey guys, tonight I'll be telling you guys about my first ever trip to New York. My first ever trip in in the city of New York. All right. So I remember the day because it was because of a concert. Um, and uh, you'll see you see a lot of this group on this channel, and I did a cover of their entire EP. New Dictions, uh, which you guys should totally check out. I'll leave the link in the description. But I'm going to tell you about the time I went to New York City to see R5. So the day was a Monday, right? And I just seen this band three days before in New Jersey where I live so the day was September 29th 2014 alright um and I forget the guy's name but I wasn't really paying attention all I really cared about was, was R5 getting to that show so um and i eventually did but we're gonna start from the very beginning all right so it was it was about the day before the actual concert and i go mom she goes what i go mom she goes what and i go r5 at the gram and C theater and I'm like Gramercy theater um and she goes the Grimmancy and I go and I go Grimmancy Grimmancy theater she goes uh that's in New York and I go because she, she looked at the state and she goes she goes that's in New York and I go I know she goes do you really look like this band that goes in twice I go yes 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 because I I, I really do love them uh, and I feel like part of their family so I go yes yes please I uh, I didn't go really high up I went please really like annoy me and she goes back with me tomorrow and I go the tickets are going on sale tomorrow so then I go to live nation dot com and I click on the date and I click on the get tickets right and their screen freezes so then she calls my aunt she goes my aunt's name she says my aunt's name and she goes Yo, um, do you have any idea how to get to New York, how to buy tickets for a certain show? And she goes, uh, who would that be? And my mom goes, R5 at the Grimsey Theater. And she goes, oh, okay, I'll check, uh, I'll check and I'll see what I can do. So, I was kind of in a frantic panic, kind of, not really, well, kind of an excited panic. I was just, um, really excited to see if I could go or not. And, um, I go, and it still freezes, right? This video is going to be long, I'm sorry about that. And it freezes, right? She goes, oh, while my mom was, like, helping me get ready for the school my school day all right I go can you please just try again can you please just try it again 
because at this point I tried four times and it shut down and it didn't like work but I was having a fangirl moment fangirl moment sorry my finger quotes look at claws sorry about that um and she goes oh, I'll see what I can do oh I'll see what I can do and I had my phone on me the entire day she keeps calling and she calls me right and she goes um so I don't know if I c couldn't get the tickets or right? and she like we kept talking throughout the day and um the end of the day because I go like on a very small bus because I um am in uh well chair but you guys can kind of see behind me um and she was calling me and calling me and I answered and I kept answering and finally she goes I call her I call her I call my mom's work and she's not there so I call my house and my because uh, out like out where she works they have a receptionist lady or a receptionist um, and I call and she goes oh she left early she was uh, she was uh, sick All right. and my mom never calls out for being sick usually never never in her life well not never in her life she's done it two more times but that was because she really was so uh, I call my house and I go mom mom are you home she goes yeah um, I'm sick and I go really I'm not sick and she goes yeah you're right I'm not I just have to leave work early to take a nap and I go a nap why <laughs> and she goes ask your aunt like did I text my aunt my aunt didn't respond right away so I was like am I going to NY vision and she goes she didn't respond I kept waiting and waiting she didn't respond and when I was on the bus right the bus has is full of special needs children and you know their uh, their stuff and everything and um, I started screaming blood uh, not bloody murder but I started screaming bloody murder because I was so excited I started like not being a bit brief because I was like so excited. Um, that was because my aunt texted me and said, "Yes, you are going to NY." I go, ah! and I start screaming and like the bus aid was because there were special needs children on the bus. The bus aid thought I was having a seizure, and I was like, "No, no, no, I'm just." Uh, no, 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 I'm just really excited because I'm fine, you know. And uh, the bus driver was like, R5 again. And I go, yeah. She goes, oh, boy. So, um, so we get there, right? I was having this, like, this mindset where things were gonna happen like I don't know but things I wanted to happen were gonna happen and surely enough when I got there the security guard was like you here for R5 because they saw my necklace why not right my necklace he saw like the necklace and the ticks and everything because at the time I only had Okay. 
I only had eight. Hold on. I only had a fudge. I only had this pick, which said R5. Says R5 on it, but like it said R5 on it. It just really faded, so you can't really tell. And and I also had the this one because it was the heart made up on you louder twer extension type two type thing. Um, so they go. I'll show me a spot for you, and we go all the way down because it, it was my aunt, my mom, and I. I was freaking out. Um, right. So when we get to the venue, um, they go, they take us all the way down, past the barricade. Right. So I, I was two feet from from Ryland and from them. I was two feet away from them. <laughs> and Ryan kept walking through, but I was like too like <laughs> to actually, you know, whatever. And uh, this guy who's uh, who what I'm assuming is either Rocky or Ross. Or I was assuming it was either Rocky or Ross walks through with the hoodie and covering their face because the it's either Ross or Rocky anyway. Um they had a hood like to where you couldn't really see their face when they walked by. And I was flipping out because I thought that because because I knew who like I knew who it was. I just forget who it was at the who it is now. But I knew who it was, and they walked all the way past and walked. There was two doors um, behind where I was standing. I was well, where I was sitting. I was sitting next to the security guard. So the security guard was on the street. Two doors to not let the R5 family go in. So um, go in and like see them, like warm up and everything and um, and I go that's where our five is so I turn to my mom and I go that's where our five is she goes wait who uh, I go that's where our five is she goes oh keep no she doesn't go eep but she goes oh Whoa! When, like she was trying to get the security guard to let me go through and meet them, um, but no. Anyway, this video is gonna be like 20 minutes long, and I'm not gonna even edit it because I'm that classy and whatever. Um. So I found out that our five is in there and Ryland was also in there and then I saw Stormy right across like not across but like right past my aunt <sighs> I start freaking out okay freaking out because it's Stormy it's mom it's 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 awesome you know and my mom goes why are you freaking out now? She goes, why are you freaking out now? And I go, oh. <laughs> she goes, who's that? You know, because she, she doesn't really know much about R5. She does now, but she didn't really know at the time that much about R5. She just knew that they were on the Disney Channel. And, um, yeah. So, I go, that's, that's, that's Stormy, R5's mom. She goes, oh, that's so cool. And like when the, the, they were, uh, I'm skipping to the end of the show. I'll put the link to the actual show because it was a live stream. I'll put the link to the actual live stream in the bio. Um, 
and it was awesome. So at the end of the show, right? I had no idea this was going to happen. I just thought it was going to happen, so I'm so happy you did. Alright. So, anyway. Rocky, I'm going to go in order. Riker, Rock, Rock well, no. I'm gonna, I, anyway, at the end of the show. Um... They jumped off the stage and like were giving people high fives. And then my mom goes, come here, come here, come here. And like, every time I, every time I get to this part, I start laughing uncontrollably because it's like, he just like, God. All right. But Mr. Ellington Ratliff walks directly over to me. And I go, I cover my face like this because I was like, you know, I was like, so funny. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Sorry. Um, and someone's walking over to me. And I go, hi. You know, trying to be all cool. And he goes, he gives me like a side hug. I'm not gonna like imitate it, but he gives me a side hug. And he goes, you're awesome, I love you. And I go, <gasps> because that's exactly what I wanted to, like, that's exactly what I imagined things to be, like, it to be. And then Riker comes over and gives me high five. Rake, uh, did I already say Riker? I think Riker comes over and gives me, gives me a high five. And then Rocky gives me a high five. Ross was crowd dancing in the crowd, so I couldn't like get like a high five, but I ended up getting a high five. And like later in my R5 Avengers. Um, and you know, sorry. I'm still, sorry, I kind of was like in a daze for a second, I'm sorry. Um, but, and then Rocky comes up and gives me, oh, I already said that, sorry, in a daze, kind of repeating daze. <laughs> Get it. Alright, it's a joke. Um, so, yeah. And then <clears throat> the security guard who actually got me a pick that Ross dropped and like not yeah Ross dropped and there was like a few other girls trying to get the pick because it was Ross and the security guard goes he picks it up because I thought he was going to give it to them he goes he goes he shows them okay, he shows them and he goes, clunch, like he clenches his fist, his, his fist, and he goes, clunch, and he goes, he walks back over to me, he goes, here you go, and I take it, uh, and I, re and, um, it was awesome, and then, at the end of the show, well, yeah, I got to the end of the show, um, right now usually throws up the set list in the crowd, um, and she goes, she looks at me, she clenches, she like rolls it up in the, into a ball that you can actually throw, um, and she looks at me and gives it, and like, and gives it to me, so I was like, oh, oh, oh. So that was my New York experience. I'll have the link to the actual concert below. 
I'll also have the link to uh, to their forget what I said, but I'll I'll put a link to whatever I also said in the bio. Um, so yeah, that was my Harvard New York experience. And it was awesome. So thank you, R5. Thank you, everybody who came. And it was awesome. So bye. Peace. If you guys want others, other of my R5 stories, comment below and give this video a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, there we go. Rock and roll. On out. Rock and roll. Hey, loser. Not rock and roll.